Springfield is poised to make dramatic changes to a culture of sexual harassment against women. CBS 2 Susanna Song is here now with the various proposals leaders are introducing right now. Good morning, Susanna. Hey, Marissa. The House Joint Committee just unanimously passed a resolution by State Representative Sarah Feigenholz that supports and empowers women in government positions to fight what she calls dehumanizing behaviors. This still needs to go to the House, but once approved, her goal is to make it easier to report sexual harassment and enforce force accountability. One of them, of course, is a task force, um, a bicameral task force that will be discussing um, this issue for a, probably a very long time um, and addressing issues. It's good to have policies against sexual harassment. It's important to have training. But really what's important is that we all raise, women and men, our collective voices, that we say no more, that we say I will, that we will change the culture that we will challenge elected officials to do what we know is right to do. This surfaced, surfaced after victim's rights advocate Denise Rothheimer accused State Senator Ira Silverstein last week of harassing her for 18 months. Yet nothing had been done. There was no investigation because there was no inspector general. The office has been vacant for two years. On Saturday, the legislature assigned Chicago attorney Julie Porter to that post to investigate. Rothheimer says the current statute of limitations on her complaint expires at the end of the month. A bill for an extension is pending but could be on the governor desk and passed by late this afternoon. Another bill proposed by Mike Madigan would require for the first time sexual harassment training for legislators and their staffers. It's supposed to sail through at noon and in fact, Merce and Aaron, training's already been scheduled for tomorrow, so it will go through. <laughs> wow, interesting. Thanks, Susanna.